Several new laws designed to help kids with allergies passed this session. Yeah, we've told you about more labels for kids with sesame allergies and students being able to administer their own medicine in case of an emergency. Now lawmakers are making sure every child in the state has access to that life-saving medicine. WCI3's Gabrielle Franklin joins us live from our Capitol Newsroom. So, Gabrielle, how will this new law help kids? Paul, the law requires that insurance companies cover injectors like EpiPens for minors who need them. Parents and doctors say access to this medicine could mean a matter of life or death. It should not be a struggle. I mean, this is life-saving. 13-year-old Bailey Cruzy has lived with a food allergy all of her life. I strictly avoided everything. We didn't eat out much. Um, and then, you know, if a label said may contain milk or egg, we, we avoided it. We did not take any chances. So we've been blessed that we've never had to use an auto injector. But Bailey still has to have an epinephrine auto injector in case of an emergency. Back in 2016, the manufacturer of the popular injector EpiPen hiked up the price of the drug. I think I had to pay $600 to get her EpiPens so she could have some on her and then that her school could have some. I know not every family could afford to have them and I know it, three years ago it was it was very upsetting and very very worrisome but a new law changes the state's insurance code requiring some private companies to include injector coverage and expand access for patients the new law um, that's helpful to uh, to consumers because then they know that they can get coverage for an auto injector that'll make the delivery of the medication safe effective easy and their child will get the medication quickly um, before any bad things happen. Now doctors say that they are confident that most people who need these injectors will have access to them now that the measure is law. They say that on average every for every classroom in Illinois there are two students who have anaphylactic food allergies. Paul? That's pretty amazing. It's a good thing that they passed this law then. Gabrielle, thanks. Over a